Welcome back to our review discussion for Star Wars Battlefront. I am Dan Stapleton. This here is Mitch Dyer. Yeah, it is. This is Brian Al... Uh, that's Brian Albert. That's Brian Altano. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> hey. It's good. I, we got name bars at the bottom. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all, all taken right. care of. All right. Uh, so what we're talking about today is, uh, is this the best Star Wars game ever made? Which is a pretty lofty title. Uh, there's there's a bunch of competition here, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Mitch, I think you were you were leaning towards maybe calling this one your favorite. Yeah, it's it's a hard thing, right? Because obviously, and I'm sure we're going to get into this. Knights of the Old Republic is very clearly like the best Star Wars story game I've ever played. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think this is my favorite Star Wars game. I think this is the best Star Wars game that's ever been made, purely because it's the best at capturing Star Wars. It is the one that I believe the most. It is the one that I understand the most. I come in with the knowledge, and I, I come out having gained something from what it gave me in return. Like, that that aesthetic, the sound, all the, all of that stuff just makes me so happy mm -hmm. because it's it's Star Wars, and it does it really well. And obviously, I'm not getting a bunch of, like, narrative substance from this. I'm not learning anything about the universe or these people. But in terms of I'm in Star Wars, I'm engaging with characters I know, I am part of conflict that I've always wanted to be part of, it really nails it. And all of that combined is like the exact thing I've wanted for 10 years. It's the thing I've wanted from Battlefront, it's the thing I've wanted from DICE, and it is sort of, the confluence of all those things makes it the best Star Wars game for me, even though it's, it's missing a lot of the stuff that I love from other Star Wars games like Republic Commando, or that a lot of people love from Jedi Knight. But for me, I think it is. How about you, Brian? Is this better than Pod Racer? That game was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's all right. Way to catch me off guard. Um, I think that uh, Star Wars Star Wars means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, right? I mean, some people are gravitate more towards the character interactions and the fun script and the sort of mobility of watching this like ragtag group of friends travel the galaxy and fight these things that are way stronger than them. Other people just really like the action and they like the the dog fighting. And other people just like the settings. Like I was always huge into like the way Jabba's palace looks or how gorgeous Endor is and like the construction, the idea of like the architecture of, of these bears on Endor building these tree villages to kill people. Uh, all of that is very fascinating to me, and I think that like Battlefront nails so much of that stuff. Less so like the character interaction stuff. You know, you get a little of that with the heroes, but like we were, you know, we we're saying it's kind of hokey and fun in that way. Whereas like Kotor does a lot of that more. Like here's how this character might turn to the dark side. Yeah. Here's the good and evil. Here's the dialogue trees and it's stuff that, like that. It's that like long, yeah. slow burn that tells a really deep, yeah. smart story that you. You would never get that from a shooter. But the that sort of instantaneous feel of the instant, the instant ability to recognize what Star Wars is on film, I'm getting from this game more than I've ever gotten from any other Star Wars video game. Um, I don't know if that makes it the most fun Star Wars game, but I think it is the most Star Wars Star Wars game. And Does that I, make I think, sense? I think a big part of that is probably due to the fact that a bunch of the Star Wars games we've gotten in the past decade have been based on the prequels. Yeah. And that no one wants to live in that world. No, yeah, that, that and I think there's just like an, an incredible attention to detail happening in this game. Like the guys the guys that worked on it went to ILM and scanned all of the original models that were used in the film. Like their props are when you see that ATST walking around, that's a scan from the film. Like that is straight up the exact same thing that you saw in a in a movie it, decades ago. Um, and all of that stuff like really adds together. The John Williams score really nails it for me. Just all, uh, just the, just how gorgeous everything is, and everything from the explosions. Even like watching a character get hit and watching him get f fly in the air like he's getting yanked away on ropes. Needs more Wilhelm. It has plenty there's of Wilhelm. There's so much Wilhelm. There's, there's, no, I don't think you can put. Bit. Yeah, oh, there's tons of Wilhelm. Dude, I went from hearing no Wilhelm during my entire like first week of play yeah. to playing a game on Hoth where I heard it 30 times in a row. Yeah. For, <laughs> for, for those of you that don't know, the Wilhelm scream has been it's been in like thousands of movies, and it's like ah. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's Tim the Toy Teller getting killed. <laughs> I put like a home improvement slant on mine. But no, it's, it, that sound effect is all over the place. So little things like that, little touches. Even seeing like droids walk around behind the scenes, yeah. like running through uh, the tunnels on Hoth and being like, this looks like it's made of like stucco and foam core, like yep. all the crap they use in the 70s. Like it's all there. It's really cool. But it's a best Star Wars game or no? Yes. Wow. Okay, Brian. No. Damn it. <laughs> Controversy. This is... I'm gonna say something that sounds dumb, and I'm gonna explain it. Right. Yoda it's, stories. It's <laughs> so Yoda stories. It's it's Star Wars right when you hop in, and it's like like Mitch or no who who said it's the most Star Wars Star Wars? Is that you? Yes. It's it was it's literally Star seconds Wars, ago. Like non nonstop. Like Kotor is my favorite Star Wars game because it has 
Uh, a really great story with a good twist that if you don't know, somehow go play that game before you get it spoiled. Uh, like cool companions, uh, building your own lightsaber, like come on. Yep. Um, like you get your own ship and your crew. It's just great. Uh, but for a long time, I was like, when is this going to start being st like punching people or like hitting them with actual swords, like, like metal a fiber swords? Blade yeah. Like doesn't feel fun. The beginning is very weird. Yeah, and after a while, you you're like, like. This is pod racing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you get to that point eventually. <laughs> it's working! It's working! Um, That's so wizard, Brian. Uh, <laughs> so wizard. Um, but this, this game doesn't do that. It seems like you are on Endor right now. Don't die. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, KOTOR eventually like beats it in the long run with that slow burn you were talking about. But um, I think I like that game better um, than Battlefront. But like, it's totally there. different things. They're super. They're not trying to do the same thing at all. Yeah. Yeah, for for me, it's 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 up there, but it's it's no Kotor. I, th I think Kotor like has endured for as long as it has because like you you can go back and play that game now. It's like yeah, it's pretty ugly, but it's still like everything is still that is great about that game was mm -hmm. great about that game still is great about that game. Um, I think looking back at at things like Tie Fighter, uh, it's all that also gives it a run for its money just because you know I I personally prefer the space combat to ground sure. ground combat. It's a very Dan game. It yeah. is. It is. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to put this, you know, in up in the the top echelon. Oh, and also uh, uh, Jedi Knight Two, I mm -hmm. think, uh, holds up pretty well, just because the the implementation of force powers in that game is, is much of what I love about Star Wars. Also, if we're talking at the time, Shadows of the Empire. Yeah, honorable honorable, honorable mention to some of Shadows of the Empire. <laughs> Not all, nor most, but there's some stuff in there that was really good. Big fan of that yeah. Slave One boss battle. Yeah. yeah, it was the best Hoth mission before yeah. this game. So I actually wanted to say that real quick. There's a, What I really appreciate about this game, or at least my biggest hope for it, is it's nailing all these details right now, but I feel like it's still playing it sort of safe for the Star Wars. It's for the launch and getting people prepped for the new movie, and we'll do the Jakku and stuff like that, and we'll see some new heroes. But I really want to see like six months from now when the gloves are off and dice can kind of go weird with it, and they can be like, hey, there's Wampas on Hoth now. You have to fight them. That's what I you know, really, like, really love. There's there's a there's a there's a rancor yes. that just shows up and all of a sudden there's just like an evolve mode where it's like <laughs> 5v1 and one of them's a rancor. <laughs> like I want to see them start getting into the more weird deeper stuff like that. Yeah. Which I have a feeling as this universe grows and as this game series grows, um, we will get there eventually. Hear that Mitch? More crazy modes. Yeah. Right. I would love <laughs> like it, it seems to be a thing these days where like you have your game and it's you know it's its thing and then it has a weird spin-off like yeah. the old blood for Wolfenstein or like yeah. Forts ahead like Fast and Furious. Like I want far, something far where they're like Jeff Jeff Goldblum Nazi zombies. Yeah, like or I want the yeah. I want the you, weird. You want the blood dragons. Undead yeah, Nightmare yeah. Festival. Of Yeti mode. Yeah. Yeti right. mode. All right. Well, that's our review discussion for Star Wars Battlefront. Thank you guys very much for participating, and thank you out there for joining us. We have an even split here on on uh, best or not best. Mm -hmm. so My be, man. Be sure to weigh in on that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Star Wars. <laughs>